Well, I've been a member for lots of different volunteer activities in Santa Barbara community for many years. I started out with Habitat many years ago through my church. We were actually building homes here and there around the city of Santa Barbara. And then when I learned about this project, rehabilitating homes uh, in Montecito, I wanted to be part of that. This is about the sixth or seventh house I've lost count. Um, the first house I worked on was uh, happened to belong to my house painter. We were cleaning mud out of the garage, and the only thing that survived in that garage was a restored Volkswagen Bug that his son had just fixed up at Santa Barbara High School, and that car floated for a while. That's the only thing that survived. It will run again. When I came here, well, as soon as I walked into the house, I could see that huge hole, and I didn't know what had caused it at first. But there was a huge pileup of mud and a lot of wood there, and then somebody explained it was the uh, base, I guess, one of those sycamore trees that had walked here. So it was just impossible to comprehend the force that brought that tree here. And cars in people's driveways, cars that weren't there before, and boulders, and a lot of the stuff washed right into the ocean. So it shows you the force of what went on. This house just happened to stop that tree. We see this mud around here, we see spatters, we see boulders that weren't there before. I wasn't here at the time. It's, it's still impossible for me to fully appreciate the sounds of the devastation of that night. But because of this mud flow and the, uh, the height of it, uh, that's created problems with uh, the wood, wooden structure, the floors, the siding, the, uh, the drywall, uh, a lot of this stuff will have to be replaced. And that's where expenses come in that you don't normally see at the beginning. Uh, well, just this morning I found an uh, uh, AARP membership card that belongs to the owner of this house. But the second house I worked at, uh, just one block from here, I found two punch bowls intact. The equipment that was in the backyard and our shovels and our picks and sledgehammers, all that somehow missed these two punch bowls. So I took them home, cleaned them up, took pictures of them, sent them to Liz who posted them on the website to see if the owners would claim them. They didn't. But another thing I found was a, uh, an identification badge, which was dirty but I recognized the name on it. And uh, I cleaned it up, dried it off, and sent it back to the person whose home was two miles from here. That card washed down two miles. The owner of the house died in the flood, but his, uh, the members of his family survived. So I sent it to one of them. So th those are a couple of the things that I've found that survived. There's probably a lot more around here too.